Now COVID concerns are mounting at schools. One local school district sent high schoolers home early today after a cafeteria worker came down with symptoms related to COVID. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland is live with our mobile newsroom in Cheshire with the latest tonight. Matt. Well, Kara, Cheshire superintendent says the district is waiting for those test results, but they just wanted to be extra cautious after a member of the food service team here at Cheshire High School started having COVID like symptoms. Obviously, students, parents, they say they were surprised by the news, but they all say this is the right move. We got the announcement over um, the over the PA system from Dr. Gadden, I just remember looking around to all my friends in the study hall that I was in being like, what the hell is going on? The news caught everyone off guard. Cheshire High dismissing its students just after 11. It's crazy. They just told us that uh, someone, you know, doesn't have it, but they're showing symptoms. That would be a member of Cheshire's food service team. According to the superintendent this morning, they learned a cafeteria staffer now has symptoms of COVID-19, adding the working conditions in the kitchen are such that the other food service staff are now potential close contacts. That was definitely the right call. Yeah, especially because um, because uh, the lunch staff works in quite close quarters. I personally wouldn't feel safe eating from uh, eating a school lunch today. While Cheshire waits for the test results to come back, districts around the state are having to make changes on the fly as the number of cases in Connecticut, along with the positivity rates, increase. It's kind of expected, I guess. I would have expected it sooner than this, to be quite honest. For now, Cheshire, which is already using a hybrid model, will switch to remote learning for its high schoolers tomorrow. Wednesday, already a scheduled virtual learning day, will stay that way with the hope of bringing students back into the classroom on Thursday. We're already used to going home and doing online learning, so I mean that helps, but uh, we knew it was going to happen. I mean, it's inevitable. Now, it's not just Cheshire, you know, districts around Connecticut are making changes for this week. Also, the future as the state sees its number and its cases increase. And of course, we're going to have that part of the story coming up tonight on Eyewitness News at 6. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in Cheshire. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.